From reaching trail to the Great March, from the aging ocean to the endless sea, from Fisherman's Row to Godcroft's, live from Studio A in Press Corps World Headquarters, this is Foxhole Flash, bringing you the latest news from across the Siva Valley War Zone. Good morning, afternoon, or evening. For the Press Corps, I'm Jeffrey Jennings. Here in the 65th Conflict of the Foxhole War, it's day 228. The Wardens have fought back quite viciously here all along the front, particularly in Reaching Trail and even the Deadlands, while Colonials continue to hold on to pivotal junctures in Cal's Pass to the north and to the south. The Wardens have uh, leveraged quite amount of pressure and made significant gains. We'll go first to Reaching Trail, looking first at Reaching Trail, where the Wardens have broken out of their northeastern uh, situation and have now taken the formerly colonial-held uh, positions at Reprieve, the central city, or rather the central position in Reaching Trail, as well as local Fort McConnell in the southeast corner of Reaching. Both very strong positions held by the colonials, originally held by wardens, but then captured by colonials for several months, and now the tables have turned once again with significant uh, pushes, uh, first towards Reprieve and then finally towards Fort McConnell. The colonial situation in reaching at the current moment, particularly in the south, uh, south end of the region, does look dire, at least on the map. The colonials have, uh, have put in quite a amount of effort to try and defend the situation there, but considering that they have significant flanks on now three sides, or rather two flanks, and of course the main uh, main possible attack from Reprieve, but in any which case, uh, three angles in which the Wardens can attack, both from the north, from Reprieve, east from Fort McConnell, and then south from Craigstown, across the regional border in Cal's Pass. Looking at Callahan's Passage, uh, the Colonials continue to hold on to Overlook Hill, particularly overlooking the Sayak Approach, and as well as holding the local Central Observation Tower. Meanwhile, at Solus Gorge East, Colonials still holding on to the juncture at Callahan's Eye, where the uh, position at that uh, T intersection continues to hold for the Collies. And down in the Deadlands, we had reported earlier, uh, several days ago, that the Warnens had launched an attack led by 82DK and destroying and retaking the town of Callahan's Gate, the northeastern corner of the Deadlands. Now it seems they are poised to break out from that position all across the northern half of the Deadlands. Current combined casualties coming in at 378,643. Those numbers coming in from foxholestats.com. Currently, the Wardens lead, quote-unquote, or rather uh, don't lead by a plus 7% in terms of casualties, although it seems they have uh, leveraged those losses towards these significant gains uh, in reaching and deadlands. Looking at our... Eye on the ground, our foot on the ground here. We're now go to if we can. We might actually take a moment to to reestablish a connection. It's it's always spotty out there on the front line, but um, might be looking here at press score warden correspondent Alec Hamilton. Uh, uh, Alec, I don't know. I, I, am, am I coming through for you? <laughs> now, what is your uh, where is your current location? One strong as wooden forces have pushed from all the way at Mousetrap through Ice Ranch to the Ark, encircling Fort Mac McConnell, and now sitting up a front line here, seemingly for the night. Okay, I, th I think we might have been. I, I think on my end it was cutting in and out. So yes, you have arrived at Reprieve, and the wardens yep. uh, have leveraged a lot of their power, usually as they do during these so-called warden weekends. And uh, yes, yeah. they're. Uh, I, 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 Who's got the momentum at this current moment in time? The, the wardens or the colonials in your well, immediate vicinity? I, I, oh, that's think, I think an hour ago, I definitely would have seen the wardens, but it's, it seems to have slowed down a bit from what I can hear. The uh, uh, the wardens have lost a lot of tanks. They're, um, it seems to be now, it's I wouldn't say stalemated, because it seems to me like it's uh, much more colonials pushing at the moment. 
as uh, wardens fight back. I'm, I'm here, you can probably hear it. I'm here next to a uh, E in place anti-tank gun that's firing on a light tank, which I'm probably a little too close to actually. I'm just gonna take the time to move back here, but uh, no, it's it's uh, infantry versus infantry at the moment, I would say, with uh, all the vehicles coming from the colonials. What does visibility look Good like enough. out there? How far can you see out before the expanse takes over? Well, it's uh, just about six o'clock, and um, in the far north up here, that means visibility is very, very low. So I, I'm not able to see a whole lot, um, a whole lot further than maybe 30, 30 meters. But from what I can see, the colonials have set up infantry positions, and the um, I'm actually not sure what it's called, with the SCAR, the big, the big trenches that uh, have been built here in the far north and are uh, occasionally coming up, sometimes being supported with light tanks, sometimes by themselves, but it's, uh, they haven't really made any ground except uh, they, they will be counting themselves lucky as they have seemed to stop the war in advance here. Colonials fighting tooth and nail to hold on to that southern position. Uh, somewhere possibly around Harpy. We know the Wardens have poked in there before, but for now uh, it seems the Wardens, as you reported, have uh, have kind of petered out. Uh, there was uh, fears from the Colonials and hopes from the Wardens that the, the, uh, the Wardens in Region Trail might be able to break out and really start threatening the, the Warden uh, presence in Region altogether, but it seems uh, they've just leveraged too much uh, Oh shit. Too much uh, manpower, material, really just momentum oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, into capture the freedom itself. And now the Colonials, it's time for them to, to, to fight back and counterattack. Uh, who do you say has uh, has more presence in the uh, in the fight right now outside of Reprieve? If, if you can even accurately gauge that. Um, well, I'm, I'm pinned down at the moment, so I'm not able to give you a reasonably accurate description. I don't know if you could hear that uh, sort of outburst of fire, but... I, I I think in terms of numbers, I guess if that's what you're asking, it seems to be relatively similar. I'd say a good 50-50 split between uh, all the soldiers in the region. But um, sorry. It, and even the again, it's, fight, it's right. sort of stalemate here, you know. The warden. Yeah, the wardens yeah, have okay. pushed forward. They've, they've right, taken the right, momentum. Right. They've taken the advantage. Right. They've used armored support. Um, now it just seems like they're consolidating their gains as the Colonials try to mount a uh, counter here in the uh, far north. Right, the Colonials certainly hoping to snatch a stalemate from the jaws of defeat. Uh, we're getting reports that the Collies are fighting up, oh, the, uh, up a southern road, hoping to secure that line for logistics as well as just create a presence to threaten the Wardens in and around the area. So certainly from your point of view, I can imagine uh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of gusto amongst the colleagues, just hoping to to stem the tide and and, uh, and possibly certainly try and take back yeah. relief if they can. But I don't know if that's going to happen anytime soon. Well, to form a front, I guess you could say they're trying to form a uh, front line because uh, there hasn't really been one here for the past uh, couple hours. So they just sort of calm everything down, you know, consolidate, uh, or the wardens are trying to consolidate the gains, the colonials are really just trying to maybe want to counterattack, but I think their main objective at the moment is to just uh, slow everything down and make sure they don't you lose any more territory. That certainly makes sense. Uh, you know, uh, forming a front line, that is absolutely key. I'm glad you said that, because looking at the map, of which we can't disclose anything uh, particularly uh, detailed, but looking at the map, uh, we can certainly describe that Reprieve is about the center of the region. Certainly, there's a that's literal center is an open field. But Reprieve is about yeah. the central position in terms of uh, hard points, and then all around it, you've got strong colonial positions, uh, or at least looking like strong colonial positions at Nightchurch to the west, Elkford to the northwest, Reprieve at uh, Brody Town, uh, st uh, about straight north. So uh, wardens. Uh, potentially be flanked in all directions. Meanwhile, the Colonials at Harpy also flanked in three directions. This is just not a very stable line right now. So it's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of frontier work, a lot of poking in and out, a lot of exploiting of flanks. But uh, as for where the where the big groups are going to go, really, where the big groups are going to form, we'll just have to wait and see, I think. No, it's an anti -tank cannon. Yeah, definitely. Well, as you said, Reprieve is in, Reprieve is in the... Uh, center of the region here, roughly, um, but I, I'd say that uh, more metaphorically than geographically, it's also in the center of the fighting. Um, 
I think throughout the region it's slowed down for the night. Um, wooden have stopped advancing. Uh, may it be through uh, sort of running out of logistics or just uh, the colonials managing to hold them off. But um, yeah, no, I think it has slowed down in the past couple of hours. Mm -hmm. But I uh, I don't think we're done for the night here. Uh, I will I will say that. We'll have to see. It looks like the colonies are going to make that decision for you. Whether or not something does happen or doesn't happen, the problem yeah. rests on their shoulders, considering they're the ones on the counter. It's their turn to counterattack, at least for now, if, if, we're, if we're reading this momentum correctly. Tell me, yeah. do you... Um, did you, did you get any information, or even where you were before, on uh, how Reprieve fell? Because the Reprieve and uh, Fort McConnell to Reprieve Southeast looked like such a strong position for the Colonials, and they were really, uh, really pumping up the pressure for the Wardens in, in reaching, but now that seems to have completely turned. What happened well, in these I, past uh, few days? Well, I wasn't, I wasn't uh, in the region mm -hmm. when it first started to fall. However... I did, I did arrive and attach myself to some infantry units. By the time we, or the wardens sort of pushed down the, uh, across, across, uh, open terrain with no roads, they pushed down, they, uh, managed to set up, yeah, if you can hear that, we do have a stool that I have now, but they managed to set up a, uh, bunker base for the wardens, and then it was a very brutal and bloody fight in terms of just wardens so smoking base, out in uh, front of, uh, in front of bunker bases, they'd smoke, they'd Throw smoke, running with uh, satchels and yeah, high grenades, and it would just be well, it would just be brutal. It would be bit by bit. They managed to get it. Um, so, even though some of the fighting earlier to take back territory was more sort of, uh, it was much more open, I guess, in the sense that it was a lot faster pace with armor. Getting into reprieve uh, specifically, it became it slowed down a lot. Uh, wardens. Pushing in with smokes, uh, uh, HEs, uh, high spawn. casualties on both yeah, sides, the and uh, so yeah, I, th I think that's also part of the reason why it's slowed yeah, down for the night. A lot of people have uh, unfortunately perished today. Here. Certainly, the uh, the sulfur yeah. flank on Spooky the east scary, corner man. of the town, east end of the Spooky town, uh, was that Achilles' heel. It seemed road, really like just uh, just where the front line uh, happened to, to bend and break. Uh, like Reprieve right having right fallen uh, uh, yeah. just a few days ago on day 225, yeah, right according to foxholestats.com. Or rather, that was the Reprieve Where's safe house. Church? I'm not sure about the Reprieve town. Oh, no. I wanted to double check that. But uh, in terms of Reprieve uh, to town, fall, it looks like, yeah, okay. Uh, so uh, maybe lost, yeah, lost on day 225. Uh, that's the report that we're getting, and the warden's <laughs> capturing the town hall just the very next day. So this is still a very much. Have a uh, we're still in the fresh after like effects. There's a pink. Yes, of, uh, what's like happening a over there? Yeah. Uh, we're hearing a lot of conversation in the background. What's going on? Uh, well, a silver hand has just come up, and the crew are uh, interacting with them and around it, sort of to make coordinate a little bit of a push, but. Okay. They, they do need to be very careful as there have been lots of uh, the new the the new colonial light tank destroyers in the region and I have to say when I was here they are they are brilliant or well, I guess uh, they are they are very well suited to hunting down silver hands with their speed agility and just firepower coming out of from that uh, 68 millimeter cannon that's mounted on the very fast and quick chassis. You're talking about the colonial H10. Pelikis tank destroyer. If, yep, I'm, uh, if I'm not that's mistaken, the one. right, and yep, the extra no, range on those things one. are just absolutely phenomenal. Uh, in terms, well, of, it, 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 it doesn't seem like a lot, but that open top gives yeah. it what I think 20 meters of extra range for the people inside. Yeah, I, I think that's a big part of it as well because, like, when, when you when you compare something like a silver hand, you know, it's a um, well, it's it's market or not marketed, but you know, it's uh, portrayed as a siege tank, right? The big guns uh, doesn't necessarily mean it has the fastest speed though. So the colonial engineers and researchers have really countered this quite well by uh, mounting, being able to mount such a uh, big cannon on a fast uh, fast body, even if that is at the expense of perhaps the crew, because. Uh, even though the light tank destroyers have taken down a fair share, and when I mean a fair share, I mean a decent amount of uh, silver hands and even some wooden light tanks. They have a, they do have a tendency to be captured reasonably quickly. You know, it only takes one warden to run up behind it with a high explosive, or even gas the crew out for the to, to, for them to be a, you know, a sitting duck for any warden brave enough or stupid enough with a range. 
Have you noticed any colonials in the region, or at least in your immediate vicinity, in the, in the local sectors that you're, you're currently inhabiting, uh, have you noticed the colonials really breaking Hello, out in any other direction, or is it really just uh, a colonial slog and a warden slog at that, uh, just outside of reprieve, just trying to put up a fight? Well, since uh, since the start of this uh, little section we're doing here, um, wardens have moved down the road a little bit, um, but it, it really, it's... There's, uh, no one's really moving too much. I don't think, to be entirely honest, I don't think either side has the man or material to be able to uh, push forward or push back at this point. So I think, as I said before, it, it just seems like the colonials are really just establishing a front line and uh, hoping it can stay that way. And just to be clear of the road we're talking about, we are talking I, I about the, uh, this is uh, around the Colonial Relic Base located at Harpy in the south southern edge of Reaching Trail. This is about, uh, what, the, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guesstimate here, the 10th through 13th parallels. Uh, looking at that, and then uh, it's kind of that central, south central road coming out of Harpy between Harpy and Reprieve. That appears to be, from the reports we're getting, where the uh, where the fighting is located. And the Colonials working hard to secure that from uh, the reports the guy? we're he's getting. Uh, and the is leveraging some uh, some some firepower and armor in order just to hold the town and, and establish a, a line. So it's, it's up to the it seems it's up to the Colonials to to really uh, dictate dictate where the wardens are going to be able to. What the colonials are gonna well, we would, uh, 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 well, we, we say that, but uh, just as you've been speaking, um, the yeah, Warden Navy Regiment has rolled oh, up with another Silver Hand yeah. to support uh, the guys. Silver Hand that was already here, and a captured a light tank destroyer, also a crew by the Warden Navy, has just uh, turned up. So, there might be something happening here, I'm not entirely sure, um, but... I think at this point, with the Wardens building yeah, another bunker base, base here, uh, there is uh, uh, there is yeah. no way the Colonials will be able to yeah, be able to push cold. back at this point. Unless they come back with uh, with a dozen or so uh, tank destroyers, I I, I think yeah. I'm, I'm inclined to agree. But we'll have to wait and see. Again, it's it's up to the Colonials to dictate yeah, at this current stage uh, as they attempt Absolutely. a counterattack. It's up to them. There's a lot of a lot of clatter. We'll see if it's empty air. Did I fire it? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire absolutely. It oh, and there you go, yeah, you can hear the uh, 40 millimeter on the uh, silver hand firing at some infantry. Yeah, let's back up a little bit, boys. Let's back up. I know there's a lot of action, but don't hesitate uh, to maybe yeah, interact with some of these uh, some of these folks out there. Oh yeah, sure. Well, um, if you think it's if only if you think it's uh, if it's a good idea. Hey, uh, sure. Uh, what, do you, what do you want me to ask? Um, no, I'd probably be able to grab yeah, okay. some words oh, from one of the light yeah, tank strikers. Yeah, do you want me to yeah, ask yeah, if yeah, they, uh, how, how they came into position of such a vehicle? Yeah, well, sure, yeah. Just introduce yourselves yeah. to the press corps and just start asking away. Usually, usually if you right. try and be polite, they, they usually don't like to answer. But if you just ask oh, away, then they'll usually answer it. Hey, uh, Jerry the Bear from Warden Navy. I'm here with the uh, press corps. We're live. Give live on the scene you. right now. Would, yeah, would you mind telling me uh, how you came into position of a light tank destroyer? Yeah, spawn at the bunk base, Willie. Thank you. Set spawn at the bunk. All right. Uh, I was running with Siege, and uh, we stole one. So what happened was uh, he came out of nowhere and we uh, had like four silver hands. Yeah, uh, 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 yeah, the pushing. crew. Disabled it, and then we stole it. I can't shoot it. So the you... And it was at, uh, it was at Heartbeat when we reset it earlier. Okay, nice, nice. So how did you, how did you steal it, did you say? Anymore. Was it with a, with a HE grenade, or did you disable the whole uh, tank first? No, uh, a shell. I yeah, 40 mil, so trying to have a bolt hook. Like on the silver hand right there. Like a, oh, on the a right there. Yeah. And then it shot the back end of it. Okay, well, 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 that's uh, brutal, but interesting, and a good way to deal with it, I, I feel like. Uh, yeah, thank you. Issues, I, can't I, I know there's a lot of cross chatter there. It's a very, very busy front line, yeah. but good work on that one. Ah, uh, there we go. We got some, uh, water morale races coming up with yep. some tunes. A lot of those going around. Well, yeah, definitely. As annoying well, as it is, it, it puts a smile on my face. You know, I, you know, kudos to them. Ahead, credit where credit is due. Oh, yeah. you know, they weren't enemy. playing it so loud that they were blowing out the speakers, and I couldn't even understand the music yeah, yeah. they were playing. Yeah, but you know, they, uh, I, uh, as, as, 
as frustrating as that can be sometimes, I have to say they have uh, they have definitely earned it here. The gains that they've taken today are just uh, incredible compared to what's been going on for the uh, relatively stagnant 65th conflict of this. Uh, well, I don't see anything, so yeah. I don't know. Maybe that's a uh, fact, and we don't see him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that would make sense. Okay, enemy fat. Just don't push him out, that's nice. It's not confirmed. Uh, as you can hear, they're, uh... We think it's a fact, so we got to have it. Well, that's interesting, um... They're, uh, the water tanker are uh, getting reports from infantry and scouts that the uh, colonials have a field anti-tank gun. Holy uh, well, shit! I am, I am infantry, so if I uh, so if I see if I go to charge. Yeah, field anti-tank guns. Yeah, uh, they've they've seen some increased use during this Why conflict. So Certainly, as the lines in this bunker yeah, base, no, have been there, fairly no stagnant. Way. However, because it should be noted that a, this is in Region E rail, so there's really no chance for that anti-tank gun to hide in the shrubbery because there is no shrubbery. Yeah, well, it's a um, it's a very desolate landscape up here, which uh. May have contributed That's to the quick climbing. games that we've seen today, I'm just but saying, um, man. yeah, the, the the prospect of a field anti tank gun seems to really have a spooked these warden silver hand crews because, I mean, obviously the silver hand is a it's a big vehicle, uh, it's an expensive vehicle, you know, it's a it's a, it's hard to make, it's hard to cruise, so the prospect of losing it isn't oh isn't isn't too good. Sorry, I just had a quick run in there. I don't know if you could uh, see that with a. I, I also heard some explosions as up. well. Yeah, I uh, I was looking through my binoculars at the front, the put them city. down, and a uh, a colonial just ran straight past me and threw a sticky onto a the daring construction grenadiers. vehicle. How much it be enough? Well, well, was he, what was he was trying to hit the silver no hands? More. No, I think he was going for the construction vehicle, but he's a. Uh, yeah, no, I, I can. I'm looking at him now. He's not not going to be going for him anymore. I think okay. the. The construction vehicle, I'm assuming, uh, was destroyed. Dude, I don't. Uh, well, it's on fire at the moment. It's not destroyed. It oh, okay. Could definitely be repaired. Close, but yeah. no cigar. Yeah, and I mean, for uh, such a high price, being his own life, that's a, a little bit disappointing, I guess. From his point but, of view, I'm sure. Yeah, but I mean, it, it's probably been said before, but nearly oh, oh, over three hundred thousand. Uh, 300,000 people have been killed this war so far, so, uh, another one to the telly. Sad to say, but, um, uh, right, uh, if, if reprieve, uh, the Wardens now leveraging some sure, armor as well, bringing it into the fight, or at least bringing it back into the fight, certainly, that keep coming here. rather I'm yeah. positive that they were being leveraged earlier during the taking of the town, but two silver hands. Oh, no, they definitely were. Yeah. I, 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 I don't mean to assume, but certainly for a position as strong as Reprieve was for the Colonials, there had to be. Well, the Colonials had built up a full concreted trench system and bunker bases here equipped with uh, storm cannons People that were destroyed. Mm -hmm. So that is a that is a big loss for the Colonials. But I not exactly an easy uh, easy victory yeah, for so the Wardens either, so... Finish up. It's not not quite as a uh, sort of spurring victory as some some ones may make it seem, but then again, it's uh, by no means a good day to be a colonial. No, repair CV, repair CV. At least this day, and probably in the following days thereafter, but we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. I am surprised that the colonials have managed to hold out a Callahan's eye in oh, Cal's oh, Pass, that, that T intersection, down, that T junction there. Uh, I had been waiting to fall uh, for for quite a while now, but it seems that that downhill, sorry, that uphill fight for the Collies, uh, whether or not they were able to advance eastward uh, on that road, at least they've been able to hold on to that, uh, to that juncture. But they couldn't hold yeah, on to Reprieve, sure. which was a bit, yeah, bit tougher to, to hold on to, so I'm not surprised. Alec, did you have anything else for us at the current moment? It seems like uh, it's all down to that uh, Collie counterattack, if they can even etch anything out as a consolation prize. Yep, I think that's a uh, pretty much as good of a way to describe it as you're going to be able to do with some. I mean, oh, whoa, oh whoa, no. what was that whoa. I heard in the background? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that is a silver hand getting destroyed by a couple of very Nothing brave back. colonial partisans as they ran up, ran up behind it and killed it. I am now being shot at. I'm going to sit back for a moment. Just keep yourself but, safe. Uh, yeah, no, I am safe. I did just watch. Oh wow. Okay, they got very close. It's okay. It's all popping up here at the moment. Seems like that colonial counterattack where you were just speaking about is starting to happen. Um, 
one silver hand down, the other one is pulled back, is repairing, it seems to have been damaged. Uh, yeah, it got pretty close there for him, and I saw a, uh, a warden and a colonial uh, actually put down their weapons and just start ma started attacking each other with their bare fists, so it's, um, it just got a little spicy there for a moment, but... I must have heard, a, what, yeah. a, a half dozen sticky bombs go off? Yeah, it was all pretty quick. Yeah. Very rapid secession. That's that's honestly impressive. All right, well, the Colonial's putting up a fight outside of Reprieve just to gain that, that consola consta consolation uh, prize and hopefully uh, keep the Wardens on their toes even though they have captured the central position in reaching trail. Alec, if you don't have anything else for us, uh, I think I think we might switch nah, over here that's soon. All, uh, yep, no, that's all good. Um, no, that's it for me. I think... Uh, yeah, sort of. We described it pretty succinctly, so, uh, yeah. All right, press corps, warden reporter, Alec Hamilton, live from Reaching Trail outside of Reprieve. Alec, thank you so much. All right, thank you, Jeff. Have a good night. Well, it's not just Reaching Trail where the uh, Colonials have lost some ground. While not as severe as losing Reprieve and Fort Macon Ale, the Colonials in Deadlands, in the Deadlands, formerly secured, have lost a very, very important position, uh, kind of a gateway at the aptly named Cal's Gate, where uh, the Wardens have taken that northeast town in the northeast corner of of the Deadlands and they, uh, the Wardens uh, in and around that area have now, are, are now poised to strike at multiple strong uh, strongholds uh, along the colonial northern half of that region. Uh, while I doubt they'll be able to crack into abandoned ward in the center, a very defensible position as long as someone's keeping watch, the Colonials are uh, are being threatened at the spine, potentially threatened at the spine, Iron's End, and possibly even Callahan's boot, uh, provided that the Collies uh, don't have much defenses on the roads. Uh, but we can't, uh, we cannot confirm or deny such intelligence. Uh, that's for the Wardens to find out on their own. We might connect with uh, Press Corps Colonial co Correspondent Spencer Morrow here if he manages to share his audio to our, to our, uh, to our channels. But uh, in the meantime, I think we will we'll, uh, just want to chime in and say uh, to please stop by Press Corps World Headquarters through the Discord link below. Very handy, uh, very handy hub for uh, all your uh, all your news needs. We get all sorts of submissions and gets all sorts of uh, excellent, excellent uh, accounts, uh, first-hand accounts of, uh, of what's going on in the war, which uh, the press corps alone cannot always be there. I certainly haven't been always been there to uh, uh, to capture and really record this, this incredible history. We're 65... 65 conflicts into this spectacular, this awesome war, and it's uh, it's incredible to, to just see it all, to see stories filter through. But in any case, I do think we have uh, Colonial Correspondent Spencer Morrow on the line here. Spencer, am I uh, am I coming through for you? Uh, yes, sir, you are. Uh, I'm over here at Iron's End right now in uh, think, uh, the Deadlands. It's about... About 17:43, and deep in the night, actually. Right now, the colonials are going and just defending themselves against what seems to be a small contingent of wardens coming in and poking. Uh, there have been uh, previous reports of the wardens party sending uh, supplies coming in here from the south. Uh, right now, there's only about one silver hand and one light tank just hanging around here, but. That's just about it. It's, it's just a lot of touch and go. They, they're just coming in, poking, and backing up really, just really close here. Oh, oh dear. Mm -hmm. So Ward is reported, including armor, at Iron's End. So the Colonials have uh, not managed to contain the Wardens that have that oh, captured shit. Cal's Gate uh, several days ago. Uh, guys, grab and are now passes. outside Iron's End. We'll see how long the Collies hold out there. Can you guesstimate, uh, give us a range possibly, or just a rough estimate of, of how many Colonials are at the Iron's End garrison uh, and then just have to hold that position? Uh... Right now, it just looks like a small, 
a, a really small battalion. Uh, no, no less than the maybe two dozen soldiers here right now. I'm going to get to say an unknown number of uh, no, wardens the, uh, right now. No rank. That sounds about right. Uh, colonials are going to be spread out. Uh, pretty much uh, all across the northern half of Deadlands, just trying to contain uh, the Wardens who are probably building up uh, Cal's Gate as we speak. Uh, Cal's Gate falling to the uh, Warden advance, my goodness, that how bank. long ago? Uh, I want to say day... Th oh, no, they're not day 38, but uh, day Jesus 227. So just uh, just in case you know. B Matt, oh, oh he's, he's dead. dead. This sounds about right. We have B Matt. Yeah, just keep building. Yeah, AT defenses and fossils. Are we still connected over here? If you're talking about the broadcast, yes, I'm still getting you. But in terms of logistics, I don't know. In terms of logistics, it looks kind of bare here. Uh, there oh, they was have, oh. they have a ton of them. They have relatively cheap. There was armor here. Yeah, they had actually went and retreated after the taking the uh, uh, severe came. hit. Uh, I build a, I'm not uh, seeing any armor return up here. It's it's been pretty bleak, and it's just a uh, <laughs> handful of men with uh, anti-armor guns just shooting like you're off. Finally awake. Hearing a lot of chatter from the garrison, yeah, which is certainly good for the colonies yeah. that they're even managing to communicate. Back, I'm also bro. hearing AT rifles. Can you oh, confirm that? Okay. Okay. Yes, sir, I can confirm that I see both men and women uh, around here carrying ATRs Shit. just we trying to go and fend shot. off the assault from, uh, I, I would assume, to be either no a way. light hand or a, uh, I'm sorry, a light tank or a silver hand mm -hmm. right now. You know, uh, Iron's End, uh, despite it being as sparsely uh, defended as you describe, which is consistent with what we've seen uh, in the aftermath of uh, the Collies losing the gate. Get this over and kill itself? As sparse as it is, Iron's End is actually quite a defendable position so long as uh, the Damn, locals there know what they're here, doing. Uh, is there a logistic route out of the southern end of the base? Uh, yes sir. There, there is a logistics route still, so I'm, I'm to not too ass. sure that uh, I should really be going and giving away that, that type of information. Oh, okay. Jesus Christ. Do we have AT? Oh, oh, here. Oh, and I'm, I'm literally looking at a warden light tank. Don't stand up, Merely 40 there. feet from the, from the relic. Shooting at the tower, relic! Back up. Back up. Let's see here. Let me let me see if I can I try to get a hold of somebody here. Your hands, get your man, warfare. Those let me just get away from them real quick. A lot of gunfire oh, and a lot of armor circling in and around the Irons End, as you can hear. For just joining us, it is day. My goodness, what day it is? It is He's day. He's right there by the uh, train tracks. Uh, Twenty-nine. Couple of dumbass kids, man. We'll take a silver hand. Yeah, hi. Well, they don't fucking Wacky. Grenade, Am I saying grenade. that name correctly? Yes. Hi, Spencer tomorrow here from the press court. Do you have a minute while you're uh, obviously trying to repair this? Mm -hmm. I, I was asking, sir, if you have a minute to talk while you're repairing this uh, this item here. Sure. sure. Uh, I, I, it's seeming that uh, I, I guess you guys are. Pretty much we, going oh, and shaking have, hands with the wardens, almost yeah. face first right. here. Could you tell me about what's going on here, by your perspective? Copy. Uh, basically the wardens are pushing with four silver Does anyone hands, have uh, and a mass infantry assault. Basically, they are coming here to PVE, but we responded with infantry immediately, and that's why we are still here. Oh, well. We basically have been countering them. Alright, well, I hope that actually goes a little bit better in your favor. Hopefully. <laughs> I mean, they've already gotten three of your silver hands killed. Oh, One of them is already been captured over here. Uh, one's already been captured, yeah. you say? Oh, oh, oh. oh my <laughs> lord. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I cannot believe my eyes. I'm literally looking at a silver hand that's nearly like on fire. Uh, there, there's a 
there's a little deal. Yes, boys, and they, yes, they now yes, have yes, it. Yes, Donald has actually yes. taken a hold of the uh, of the silver hand here. He's guessing it. He's guessing it. He's gonna need to kill the gun. This is astounding. The colonials the making, like the uh, of Alphonse Elric, like making this. good work of the defense. All three backpacks uh, are out. All three backpacks are out. Alright. B-Mats, go! You guys get inside and lock it. B-Mats, oh, they're starting to use. Well, that's uh, that's just about it right now. It just seems that the that the wardens may or may not have ran out of steam. Uh, I, no, they used them all. That's what it was. Got one of their one of the silver hands, uh, as Kwaki has yeah, we'll get inside and said before, <laughs> that it was destroyed, and it looks like they have just captured uh, a new sparkly toy. Uh, you know. So you can confirm that that uh, silver hand has been decrewed. Uh, either they abandoned it or they were gassed out. I think they were gassed out from uh, what I was hearing. Yes, sir. They were gassed out. They're gassed right out. out. And now the Colonials have a silver hand potentially to, to use. Uh, we'll see if it's been squad locked and that might pose a problem. But in terms of, uh, in terms of the, uh, Lock in terms uh, of just, uh, if you having notice, a piece of armor, uh, that's, uh, that's going to be, uh, quite handy. And quite Poo and Daddy, can you please unlock, please squad? Thank you, Poo uh, and Daddy. This thing parked up top. Let's go. Oh. Yes, sir. We have no fuel, guys. We need fuel. Bandage. Oh, dead ass has no fuel. Oh. I dropped a bandage. Check. Uh, it seems with the take it of the silver hand that it appears that the wardens have actually pulled off a little bit. We don't know what's going to happen next. They may or may not come back. They may actually go and shift to another uh, to another area in order to open a front. While uh, I would that assume time. that some of the colonials may or may not be sleeping right now. That makes sense. Uh, from your point of view, uh, do you uh, know, have you noticed any uh, major regiments uh, amongst the Colonials or the Wardens uh, here in Iron's End? Uh, amongst the Wardens, no, sir, but amongst the Colonials, I see... Uh, so, let's see here. I see a couple Raid members and a couple of the T3C members over here defending Iron's End. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh dear. Uh, hello. Oh. Yeah, that warden is definitely not friendly. I'm gonna have to go and get away from okay, him. Okay, keep yourself safe. Yeah, There's like two dumbass ten-year-olds who just drove it down the yeah, fucking road. Fucking oh, that ten-year-old one who was like all right fucking here, like hit by two No, it, it wasn't the um kid. It wasn't him. It was, he had a different name. Oh, we can't oh, name we. Yeah. Do you, excuse me, gentlemen. By any chance, do you know who was operating that uh, that silver hand before it was uh, gassed out? I want to be very clear. The wardens are side, and they are using child warfare, child soldiers. It is They're disgusting. Using child Those colonials soldiers. would never sit at that level. Oh, oh dear. Excuse me, gentlemen. I, I, gentlemen, I, I, this is the warden yeah, that was captured. It was taken by brave colonial we had like five yeah, matches with yeah, eight yeah, people. Yeah, 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 let me speak to the press. Go I'm an expert at press the lake. Go clear the Go clear the Okay. So, so the colonials being spear force defended this region against the weaker warden force due to their amazing brain power and intellect. That is why we held this region. And that is why we will continue to hold this region because we are great. So great. Probably the greatest ever exists. Go get you the logic truck that just And people off. didn't want to supply <laughs> us. <laughs> uh, they didn't want to supply us, they're like, you can't be done. Because they're tired hey, of wasting yes. their no. time on hey. government. Hey. Uh, hey. And, and those are words from uh, Donald K. Trump. The lost uh, I, I would assume a, a character the here on the front. Mm -hmm. Please hurry. I, I am sorry, Justin. I will use my massive penis right now. Which Melania tells me is the biggest she's seen. Oh, right, oh, 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 go oh, God, okay. Well, I've heard Get that. Inside. That is Major General <laughs> Donald J. Locked. Trump. That is the in name of the soldier Climb literally my ass, uh, deployed there to the front line. Ah. Guy's got to do something now that he's uh, now that he's soon to be on the ass, so sir. He, the, the butthole. He's, uh, didn't do too well in, in, in other other occupations, now you but maybe in the foxhole he'll have something to do. Spot. But in any case, I think I heard from uh, Flamingo earlier, a member of Locks. And uh, he was describing the capturing of the of the of the tank, and I think that kind of confirms uh, what I was suspecting from the local warden force, considering that it was a rather smaller group. Uh, did you, I think there was what only one tank or possibly two in the sector? Uh, there, 
there was reports of two silver hands earlier on in the evening, and then a light tank had actually shown up. But it seems that one from from the previous report was destroyed. Well, one silver hand, one light tank is still running around uh, back there in the back. Right. And well, and they have the the other uh, silver hand. So it looks like things are really going well for the Colonial Legion right now. Sure, and at least here in the in the immediate aftermath, and that, that that sounds right because usually after these large large assaults Thanks. and uh, you know forward pushes uh, where the Warnings will expend a lot of manpower, a lot of energy uh, just to capture a major uh, stronghold, they'll usually hunker down, and then their uh, more veteran units will will probably uh, take a break for a little bit, having uh, you Back know expended so much energy, and then usually you'll see uh, others. Uh, take over from there in the aftermath. Uh, so the in the aftermath of losing Cal of capturing Callahan's Gate, the Wardens probably uh, let off some steam and uh, just deploying some auxiliary units who may not be as experienced with high value items and and, uh, and assets yeah. such as a silver hand, which is probably why that thing was so easily captured. Nice. Uh, you can drop it if you want. Oh, to kill I, you. I oh, would believe so. Um, it, it really is a shame for oh, the yeah, Wardens to go and lose such a such a brilliant engineering marvel. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, two turrets uh, can't do much when uh, when you can't even see the other guys. So we've seen all. It, it'll be interesting to see. It'll be interesting to see how the <laughs> silver hands pair up, uh, shore up against well, the, uh, lost the morale H10 because they didn't uh, have tank any armor left for the collies. Yeah. They have one armor, but oh, pulled back that, like a coward it was. That will probably be a real treat for, for all the Keep viewers mind, at home. Any armor is weak to the strongest man. Yo. Run to the little place you call your home. Oh dear. This is your house. This is our house now, bitch. Oh. Oof. You need that trauma. You're just straight up charging at him. Fall back, fall back. Yeah, you're dead as fuck. That wasn't smart, not gonna lie. You trauma kit. Back out. Beep, beep. It's okay. They are coming in very oh. close. Oh, that was Thank you, Rob. Oh. Oh. Oh shit, flank. That was bad. Shooting him. It sounds yeah. like the Warden's continuing the skirmish uh, outside of Iron's End, although now that they have a silver hand to face down, it'll be interesting to see how they uh, how they go about that. Yes, it's, it's, it's going to be interesting. Uh, I believe when it comes down to silver hand versus silver hand, uh, it's going to be a game of, of wits, and not only that, it's going to be properly skilled. You're not twins. So we'll we'll see how that goes. If, if they friend. end up returning here, oh. we're gonna blast them. Feels very generous. And it looks Indeed. like it looks like we have really bounces, one silver hand awesome. and oh, one T10 pelkies here. And now it looks like oh dear God, they're touching tips. <laughs> well, they gotta get into position somehow. Four guys behind. <laughs> Tell me, Is so it, I, I I know uh, the the. Captured Silverhand is being crewed by the local garrison. Who's crewing that uh, that tank destroyer? The uh, tank destroyer right now is being crewed by the legendary Black Mamba. I'm, I'm ah. pretty sure everyone's seen him now and then on the front line. And it seems to be a new face, uh, Charlie. Mm -hmm. Well, Black Mamba is certainly a veteran. Uh, veteran. Uh, uh, Hello, Mamba. You were late armor. to the party. We Part got a little gift from the wardens. I noticed that, man. Oh, so we got a when we say hand? gift, they legitimately gave it to us. Wait, Wait they gave oh, us really? a silver hand? Seriously? Uh, uh, no, kind they didn't of. give it, like, they just literally ran through, got hit by the two AT turrets over here. They literally went west, left. Got and then we had five guys with AT end. rifles track and kill and capture. Oh my god. So, so they ran into wardens. our defenses. Classic warden stupid move. It was a bunch of 12 year olds. A bunch of twelve-year-olds, you say? I like twelve you. Oh, oh, okay. took them forty hours to get that tank running. Just a reminder that, that 12, uh, any commentary you heard on the press corps not uh, not made by press corps members is not endorsed Charlie by this organization. The AT rifle. <laughs> Definitely not. 
but regardless, I don't think it, you want to add that to press corp. A bunch of twelve year olds assault Iron Sand. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's too late. It's already out there. But don't in terms of uh, in terms of the position, do, do you see the wardens? Uh, c c considering that we are in the aftermath the of, uh, of, of a armor? major warden Nothing operation, do you think the uh, wardens are going to be able to take Iron's have... End, considering the terrain and considering the two I know two, two of them armor, got killed, this one got captured. Pieces there. I know they had at least one more earlier. Considering the armored pieces that are the, that are here, the the T10 and, and the Silverhand, uh, if, if it's just them alone and they get sworn by, mm, I don't know, maybe maybe about five, five or six Silverhands, uh, it, it may end up being a little bit easy for them, um, but but then again, it is it is an uphill battle. So if if whoever's going and operating these tanks, they're are a little bit more experienced, so they're going to know that they have the high ground uh, in this type of fight to just sit there and just you know peek shot it a little bit and then pull back. Don't sit there and immediately go meet them, especially if you're outnumbered. Um, but if if they're if, if there's not that oh. many, as, as as it is right now, whereas there's only a couple foot soldiers coming in, then of course they're going to be able to hold this off for for a couple more days before reinforcements come in. He's got AT nades. Yeah, no, that that about covers uh, the same spectrum of analysis that I was I was pretty much okay, uh, uh, coming to the conclusion of. It's really up in the air because uh, the collies have their work cut out for them containing. Callahan's Gate, which I, I might go into my closing thoughts on the, on this whole situation in the aftermath of this of this uh, tremendous tremendous gains for the wardens, considering just how much of a slog this has been. But if you don't have anything else for us, uh, Spencer, uh, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure, sir. Press score Colonial Correspondent Spencer Morrow live from Irons End in the Deadlands. We have heard a few stories during these past uh, reports in the, in the past uh, hour or so of uh, Colonials fighting back valiantly in the, in the face of uh, Warden firepower and certainly some interesting episodes of, of incredible Colonial luck. But make no mistake, here in the past week or so of fighting, these critical uh, possibly uh, 30 days of fighting in this past month, the Wardens have made incredible gains, significant gains, and very strategic ones, uh, considering just how stagnant this line had been. The 65th, con 65th conflict will go down as a slog. Whether it breaks records or not, I'm not quite sure yet. I don't, I don't think we're close to that, to that amount of significance. But in terms of the lines themselves, well, the reinforced structures of foxholes and bunker bases now being uh, very, very strong, much stronger to small arms fire. That has certainly given us much more solidified, uh, solidified uh, fortifications that the infantry has, has used spectacularly. But the wardens have, have expended a lot of their energy, effectively so, taking the formerly strong colonial positions at of Fort McConnell and reprieve the central location, central position, and reaching trail. Meanwhile, in Deadlands, the critical gateway into the rest of the northern half of the region, Callahan's Gate, taken by the wardens as well, uh, spearheaded uh, operation reportedly by the 82nd Dread Corps, which sounds consistent with their typical modus operandi of frontal assaults and superior numbers. We had thought from an earlier report that the Colonials might be able to hold on to that, but now it seems that the Warnens have outlasted them. Dread Corps of Siege, indeed. Colonials, however, at Overlook Hill in Cal's Pass and at Solus Gorge and even Callahan's Eye further, just a slightly further east, continue to hold on in very strong positions there. But really, all along the north central front line here in this east west war, it is up to the Collies to respond in kind and see if they can test their mettle against this superior warden fighting, at least in the past month or so. It's going to be up to the Collies to fight back and prove that they'll be in this for the long haul. Possibly for the Rockets to really decide how this war goes. But only time will tell for that. 
In the meantime, I'm still Press Corps Editor-in-Chief Jeffrey Jennings, and you're listening to Foxhole Flash for the Press Corps. Let's get back to the music. Good night, and soon good morning, cats. You've entered the Bob O'Clock with me, Scott Joy.